Hello, it's me, Jackalopium. Welcome along. We're back playing some more Ballads of Hongye. This is gonna be this is gonna be a big one. It's episode 30. We've been doing this for a while now, for months, and we're still a little bit smarter, but not by much. Let's let's face facts. We are not much smarter than we were in <laughs> In, uh, uh, in episode one. We are no smarter whatsoever. But anyway, this is episode 30. The reason why I've started now is uh, our, our hotel turnover has almost reached 300,000. It's been about a year. I think we're in year 51 in the winter. So it's taken me almost a year to get up up. Uh, I think we might reach the magical 300,000 turnover very shortly. It is going up by about a grand every every day, maybe. Uh, there you go. There is uh, stage three achieved, but we are going to save it again real quick. Just in case, I mean, we have seen the unexpected happen. We've seen crashes happen. We've seen all kinds of stuff happening. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, save it very quick. I wonder if those flyers that, that, that journey around can crash into the ode. That would be cool. So, anyway, let's achieve this and see if we can actually... Yeah, so, yep took so long her back to a D. He really does hate our gut, man. I wonder if we can assassinate the guy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there is the S rank. See what we get as a reward. Thud, thud. Yep, total time 32 minutes. So in total 22 minutes it just elapsed since uh uh, since passing the third row. So there you go. Pick any two. And they are all... Oh, look at that. Two. So. Let's make a hard decision, man. Um, I think... Jade Miners 1. Just because of how many flipping chains. And the pawn shop. Again, just because of the number of chains. Even though... Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's uh, untick that. Salt Workshop. It is legendary. And the... And the pawn shop, why not? Although, you know, a jade mine would work better. Nuts to it. Pawn shop, do it. And then hopefully we'll get a jade mine and all the rest of it afterwards. Do it, do it. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I think I did explain this before, but some guy got right the ump when I was... Because I say I don't know, but... I, like I said before, I do do it as a bit of self-deprecation, which maybe is uh, not pleasant for people, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Magistrate, you have earned a right to rule in Moon Canyon. So there you flaming go. Uh, we are going to save this again, just so that it doesn't chew us out. Uh, so yeah, there you go. We are back in Hongye. Let's have a look at the moon can. Yeah, yeah, we're in the prep period. It doesn't matter. Mineral scarcity. So ore is down in Moon Canyon. So I think what we do is we get rid of all of the ore producing places and uh, then we upgrade everything. Afterwards, 
Because I do like everything up at four. I think that's it. Is that... Oh, boy. Hey! Yuan Q. Awesome. He's an evil terminator. Effective when appointed. Lee uh, Lin Fu's salary reduced by 5,000. Awesome. Uh, and perfectly civilised. Uh, increased cultural production by 15,000. Uh, yeah, do it, man. <laughs> That's great. I would love a new volunteer, a new legendary advisor. He is a divine genius. We're going to hire him. <laughs> yeah. uh, and there you go. Put him to work. There you go. How many more guys do we need for uh, nuts to it? Um, so just because I am a safe scum and you know that I'm a safe scummer. So I'm just going to scum up again uh so yeah we are falling behind with our food prep and of course with our cloth prep because we're always falling behind with our cloth prep uh, so everything else is going to be upgraded i think we also when those drop in, we put on a greenhouse as well. Uh, cotton field is already up. And uh, there you go. We've got, because of the snowstorm, they give us a bunch of clothing. Let's just accept. And then basically everything is going to be upgraded. Ugh. Ugh. Is that right? We're up to 8,000 people. Holy heck. Holy heck. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's just upgrade everything. See how many, uh, how many extra people we need. Hey, we've also... Oh, yeah! That's because... I won the the Best City Award. Um, uh, maybe we can sell a bunch of food. Let's sell... Let's sell one million. Uh, gonna sell... Yeah, I don't really want to sell much else. Maybe water. Uh, just because I want to use these resources for upgrading talent. Uh, one thing I do want to check as well, actually, while we're here is... Oops, he's going to be rested, so he can go up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether... <laughs> yeah, okay, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, there's that. So we are back into positive territory with our food. That's pretty nice. Yeah, and um, yeah, what I was saying was, we actually did win the best city award. <laughs> Which is amazing. Uh, we are actually moving up this list. Magistrate, we are on the list. Yeah, I know we are, man. Um, we're not in the top five, though. We're actually number 33. I think that's actually gone down. I think I was up to, like, 25 before. So that might actually... Yeah, tier six. Look at that. On year tier 5, so yep, we need to go up as soon as possible, really. What do we need to go up to tier 6? Um, our prosperity is nice and high. Our publicity needs to go up, and that's going to be resources again. Uh, yep, we've already paid 87 million in tax. <laughs> A gold reserve of 1 billion, as you do. 
Uh, yeah, I've never managed to get up past... It's this uh, S rank over a... I don't know what else sends it up, but this is our pool of advisors. We obviously need four more advisors. Once they reach level 15, they do actually contribute to the overall uh, score. So having all of your advisors at 15 is something. That's something I'm going to need to do with this new guy is increase him to 15. Uh, we could actually probably... Uh, un unuse him and we need to re-choose the XP guy. Where is the XP guy? There he is. Uh, Jank Zia. Let's do it. There you flipping go. He's now pumping the new guy full of experience. Is there anybody new that we can can get? No. Nobody with purple. Yeah, I don't think so. This is not good. I want purple at least. Uh, so yeah, this is this is everything, man. <laughs> Keep saving, keep scumming. Uh, but yeah, look at that. I was like, have we really got 8,000 people in our town? And I guess we have. I didn't realise. That seems a lot. That does seem a lot. Uh, so yeah, we could increase the those things, but we're not going to. Okay, wells need to be upgraded. Uh, we don't really need... We're doing well with with water. We always have done. Um, I've basically... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll show you. I think, where is it? Is it in Dankshire Basin? I've basically got two water complexes. Look. There, there's one of them. So it's basically a reservoir surrounded by D shops. And I've actually got two of these. One's on another map. It's not quite as good as this one. But it's basically a reservoir surrounded by uh, eight D shops. Uh, then a bunch of wells because wells... Uh, go into actually it's reservoirs go into ugh. let's look at the let's look at the chain it's basically wells go into flower beds these being flower beds uh, flower beds go into flower shops which we haven't got any uh, because I'm just interested in, in water. I think we should pop in, drop in some flower shops. And that will probably uh, raise our money situation quite significantly. Uh, but it's basically just chugging out, you know, enough water for our needs. You know, that's water. That's money. Uh, that's money. No, where is it? Uh, but it's basically, it's this one here. It's well to flower bed dew shop. Uh, a flower bed being money. But then we could also drop in flower shops if we wanted. So do shops and then flower shops. Uh, and then obviously a bird garden. They're quite nice. They're a little bit big. Uh, and then viewing tower as well. Uh, but... You know, that's recreation, the bird garden and the view and tower is recreation. Uh, but yeah, basically that's how, how I've figured out water. You know, of all things, I'm good at pl uh, plopping down water. <laughs> Shame I'm no good at plopping down cloth. I'm no good at anything else. The only thing I'm good at is plopping down water. <laughs> the most irrelevant resource. 
Um, which is a bit of a shame. Everything else uh, I haven't quite worked out mm -hmm. yet. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to Moon Canyon. Uh, I do need to go through and start doing some quests as well. Uh, I think I would like to finish winter here. I think we should also upgrade the courier station. Because uh, this is where I was experimenting with uh, running a synthesis on a lot of this cloth production and I'm still getting nowhere in regard to cloth uh, I know again it, it's winter but for crying out loud we shouldn't be this far down on uh, clothing <laughs> uh, and then yeah the other thing would be uh, where is the pass so yeah, I don't know if anybody has seen this, the new pass mechanic, which uh, is a thing. There it is. Small pass ruins. So we shall rebuild this one. And there you go. Because we're... Oh my lord. Because we've got a total of one billion dollars, our tax burden is 31 million. <laughs> That's insane. That is insanity, man. <laughs> uh, income has increased significantly. That is true. It's mostly from our uh, winning everything. Living happily. Yeah, great. Everybody looks happy about everything. Kanye is on the rise. Steadily increasing. Live and work in peace and contentment with good public service environment. That's great, actually, because they've been complaining about that for a long time. Commerce industry is up. That's great. Advisors are generally underpaid. Uh, they job hopping. Uh, and I'm not that fussed about getting the buff this year and maybe next year. Uh, so we'll give them... An envelope. Give him the envelope. Even though I really don't mind giving him like a bonus of a thousand. <laughs> uh, and there you go. We are in spring. So let's see how it looks when the snow disappears. Yeah, man, you can do it. Waiting for the snow to clear. There it goes. Look at that. So beautiful. And uh, there we are. We are back to one billion dollars. One billion dollars. Uh, that's that. Anybody we can grab? Enemy dispatch speed. I don't know what that means, but the next region we're about to uh, get or about to attempt. In fact, it's like the last region. It's literally the last region of the game so far. Is going to be a war, so he might be a good, good person to get. Um, so we are going to poach him. I'm going to put <laughs> another save in again. Uh, I have asked for the uh, kind of auto save mechanic to be looked at by the devs and I have had some uh, some positive feedback that the devs are looking at the at the auto save mechanic just so that you know at the moment every time it you know, if things go wrong, which doesn't happen often, but it doesn't auto save like most city builders at, at kind of standard save every like three minutes, I believe. And it should be so that 
the player can slide it so that it can be like between every three minutes or every six minutes or every ten minutes or even just auto save on season like what happens with Dwarf Fortress that would even work uh, but yeah who knows it's not it's not clear uh, so yeah let's um start raising all of this it says you can you can actually taunt them but but I don't know what to Ooh, look at that I mean we've got one billion and they've got two billion so <laughs> I think he's not going to get it, or he might try one last one. Uh, yeah, he did. So, we can just poach him like that. Uh, and that's another guy uh, to add. So, yeah, 37. So, three more guys we need. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to get up to, like, S rank. And yeah, don't we need, like, S Oh no, it's S minus. That's not too bad. But I mean, we are A minus at the moment. Oof. Painful, man. Uh, let's raise them all to satisfied. Great. So commitment has, has raised to faithful. Any of these new guys less than faithful? No. Yeah, yeah, faithful is the highest, so. So that's a thing there. Talent buff? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, well, we do need to go into training at some point. But I still don't think we've got enough of these bonuses. If you go in here, advisors, these upgrades here. Uh, so let's buy the last one. Reduce the cost of ability training by, it will go up to 40% now. Uh, then reduce the cost of experience training. This one is only of kind of limited use anyway. Uh, but there you go, it's been bought, because, uh, and that's basically, you can even train them up, uh -huh. like, so, let's show you this. Uh, experience, we'll scroll down to the, wherever our guys are there, like, level four, there is another guy as well, right? Yeah, level one. Uh, so yeah, you would just spend, it's 104,000, uh, and it does go up, uh, but yeah, it's actually, it just makes everything faster, so, uh, but it does cost, I mean, we might as well spend it, because we've got a billion dollars, you know, <laughs> uh, and rather we do this than pay the cost in our taxes, even though, you know, taxes, that's what pays for civilization. Uh, and there you go, there is the Doomsday Whistle. So yeah, here we go. We have, we've won in whatever that land is called, Moon Canyon. Moon Canyon, wider than the something. Uh, so yeah, Moon not river, moon canyon. Perhaps that's where the moon river. Moon river is at the bottom of moon canyon maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that is our hotel. It's a hotel. It's a motel. It's a holiday inn. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for the end of episode 30. Big 30. Uh, so yeah, open a bottle of champagne or something. 
Uh, and come back next episode where we'll probably carry on just tidying this stuff up. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more Ballads of Hongye. <laughs>